Good evening and welcome to a call to prayer. We know that when we pray as one voice with a common intention, we are united as brothers and sisters before our God. Tonight, Kelly and I will lead you in the evening prayers of the Liturgy of the Hours for the Friday night before Holy Week. The Liturgy of the Hours, or the Divine Office, is the official set of prayers marking the hours of each day and sanctifying the entire day with prayer. This practice goes back to the beginning of monasticism and continues in monasteries, convents, and family homes throughout the world up until this day. Before we begin, I ask that you make yourself comfortable. I invite you to take in a deep breath and slowly exhale. Take another breath in, and as you exhale, let go of all the challenges and stresses of this day. On the third breath, Take in the blessings of this day, hold them in your heart and in your soul, and slowly exhale. O God, come to our assistance. O Lord, make haste to help us. Our reading is from the first letter of Peter. Christ suffered for you and left you an example to have you follow in his footsteps. He did no wrong. No deceit was found in his mouth. When he was insulted, he returned no insult. When he was made to suffer, he did not counter with threats. Instead, he delivered himself up to the one who judges justly. And in his own body, he brought your sins to the cross, so that all of us, dead to sin, could live in accord with God's will. By his wounds you were healed. Our response is, To you, Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. To you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. Heal my soul for I have sinned against you. To you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. To you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. Even if you have no faith in my words, you should at least believe the evidence of the works I do in God's name. Thank you. 
Even if you have no faith in my words, you should at least believe the evidence of the works I do in God's name. The Lord Jesus sanctified his people with his blood. Let us cry out to him, Lord, have mercy on your people. Loving Redeemer, through your passion, teach us self-denial. Strengthen us against evil and adversity and increase our hope. And so make us ready to celebrate your resurrection. Grant that Christians, as your prophets, may make you known in every place. And bear witness to you with living faith and hope and love. Give your strength to all in distress. And help us to raise them up through our loving concern. Teach the faithful to see your passion in their sufferings. And to show others your power to save. Author of life, remember those who have passed from this world. Grant them the glory of your risen life. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, grant us your forgiveness, and set us free from our enslavement to sin. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless each one of you, and have a peaceful night.